welcome back to another episode of Revolution. This is the series where I spin a wheel of all 30 MLB teams to build my Diamond Dynasty squad. But this video is going to be a little bit different because I actually have two wheels to spin today. The first wheel is the standard wheel that has all 30 MLB teams. And the second wheel has all the card series currently available in MLB The Show 23. So I'm spinning both of these wheels at the same time. So our first player will be an Astros captain card. So I think I'll grab this 95 Alex Bregman. Now, normally I like to do this in the order of the team. So I would start with catcher and then move my way up the lineup. But just with this, I'm going to go anything goes here. So now we have a Reds live series card. I'll go Alexis Diaz. Now, before I get any further, I do have to let you guys know that I did have to take some liberties on this wheel to kind of make this idea work because some teams just don't have certain series of cards in their inventory. So I ended up combining some series of cards. For example, if I land on all-star, that includes regular all-star cards, retro all-star game cards, or 2023 all-star cards. Same idea with home run derby. It can be the retro derby cards or the 23 derby cards. I also combined future stars with the draft cards and I'm taking world baseball classic, London series and Mexico series and I'm combining them all under this international umbrella. The only series of cards I don't have on here is the Jin Kim and Sanford Green cards because the odds of me landing on the free agents for that exact series is so low, it's not even worth putting it on here. All right, let's go ahead and secure our next player. We are looking for a Giants international card. So this is perfect. I'm gonna go with the Mexico series, Tyler Rogers. I'm really curious what this team is gonna look like when this is all said and done, because this is gonna be interesting. Now we have Tigers Breakout. That's gonna be 88 Max Scherzer. So I have a decent start to the pitching staff. Let's see if I can get some offense. Mets Awards. I would go with 99 Jacob deGrom, but I just used him in the last video, so he has no energy. So for that reason, I'm gonna go with 97 Gary Carter. Need to start getting some big offensive players here. Mariners, any core card I want. Oh, well, of course I'm taking Ken Griffey Jr. I'm not even that good with that Griffey card, but that pick is still a layup. Red Sox, second half hero. I'll get 89 Jim Rice. Let's keep this going. This is a fun team build so far. Atlanta postseason. Man, I feel like this Jorge Soler should count, but he's an award series card. I'll play by the rules and take 97 Hank Aaron. All right, let's keep this going. More good picks. I actually like the squad so far. Astros live series. I think for now, I'll put Jordan Alvarez at DH. Need to start getting some infielders and some more pitchers here. Blue Jays, my choice. I'm loving this Delgado card lately. He's gonna be at first base. Dude, this is honestly working out better than I expected. Uh. Tigers tops now. I'm going to get this 95 Parker Meadows, and then I'm going to move Hank Aaron to third base and Bregman to shortstop for now. Yo, I'm editing. I just wanted to clear something up because I thought I had mentioned it in the video, but going through this, I actually never did. Normally, I don't allow players to play secondary positions in Revolution, but for this video, I am just because of the two wheels. Sometimes the picks can get really niche. It's just way easier to do it this way. I just wanted to make that clear because normally, yes, secondary positions, not a thing in Revolution. For this video, though, we're making an exception. Almost have the offense fully completed. I need some pitching. Cubs, my choice again. I'm going to put Javier Assad in the bullpen. That's a very solid pickup for the pen. Good righty to have. Next up, Orioles Awards. Man, rest in peace to one of the best to ever do it, Brooks Robinson. I will use him as my wife wild card at second base. All right, only a few spots left on the offense. I really need to start getting some pitching. Oakland or Oakland, Atlanta milestone. Oh boy, Warren Spawn. Who doesn't love a little Warren Spawn action, you know? Uh, Orioles again, second half hero. 87, Mike Mussina. Come on, need some help on the back end. I need some rotation guys. Arizona postseason. Oof, 84, Brandon Webb. I only have one rotation spot left and five bullpen spots. Dodgers, any core card. Hard. I'll go with Evan Phillips. He's one of the better live series pitchers for the bullpen just because of the pitch mix. Orioles live series next. Yeah, that's going to be Felix Bautista. It would be really clutch if I could get a nice lefty for the bullpen somewhere. The Yankees, any core card. Never mind. I'm adding to the offense. 99 Jeter. I just moved Bregman out to left, put Jim Rice on the bench. Normally, the bench can only be 95s and lower, so this technically still works. Come on, give me a lefty pitcher. Give me a lefty for the bullpen. Angels any set for? Do I even need to say it? Yeah, Mike Trout's gonna go ahead and kick uh, Parker Meadows to the bench. 
Dude, how did I get Mike Trout on this team? That's actually nuts. Yankees monthly awards. All right, Luke Voigt for the bench. Come on, lefty pitching. Come on, Cubs prime. Well, he's not a lefty, but Bruce Suter's a prime Cubs card. Only two bullpen spots remain. I'm getting a little bit worried about my pitching. Angels awards. Troy Gloss joins the squad. And that's actually gonna complete the offense. And I keep my rule of only 95s and lower on the bench. So these last few picks are gonna be for one starter and two relievers. Guardians, my choice. Well, there's my left. The Brad Hand. All right, and finally, we have the Marlins Future Stars or Draft Card. Gotta go Edward Cabrera for that last rotation spot. So now I just need my last bullpen arm. Phillies, any set four card. Gotta go 95, Jose Alvarado. Dude, I'm surprised with how well this team turned out. I did not think I was gonna have a lineup this good with a bench that would remain under the 95 and under rule. The rotation is a little shaky, I can't lie. And the bullpen is okay. It's not the best, but I feel like it could be worse. All right, let's go ahead and see what starting pitcher I will be using number one. Oh boy. <laughs> I am not that confident with breakout Max Scherzer. I might be using the bullpen early. All right, I'm at home against 99 Kerry Wood. And before I even throw a pitch, I'm getting some bullpen guys warmed up. Honestly, I may as well get some starters warmed up. I don't think this is going to go well for 90 or 88 Max Scherzer. I brought the corners in in case he tried to bunt. I probably could have made that play with Delgado if I had him at normal depth. Honestly, he's probably going to steal the base regardless. I'm not even going to focus on him at first base. Popped up Ellie, that's huge. Oh, what? He's that out in front? Oh my God, now he's late on 95. What is this guy doing? He is all over the place. Come on, give me a strikeout. Griffey, come on, come on. Max Scherzer has a zero. Come on, offense, let's help him out. Oh, right center field. That's a beautiful hit from Derek Jeter to get things going. Come on, dude. I need some runs. Oh, that's a good pitch. Griffey goes oppo. Look at that location on 2-2. That was not a bad pitch from Kerry Wood. I don't know how I pieced that up that well. Hey, we've got two runs of insurance for Max Scherzer. Ah, man. Why did I pull it? Or I didn't pull it, but I swung early. You know what I mean? Dude, this is the best Troy Gloss card we've ever seen, and it's not even remotely close. A 104 mile per hour exit of Elo double play. Oh, that's soul crushing. All right, all right, nice swing there. I can absolutely get Devers to hit into a double play. I know he's gonna be aggressive. He wants to swing it. Come on, locate, locate. Beautiful pitch, dude. Double play pitch. Or a strikeout. Oh, he got a bad jump. We got him. Gary Carter has him. He got a horrible jump. How does breakout Max Scherzer have two shutout innings? Come on, man. We gotta do something with Brooks Robinson today. It's only fitting. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's a good swing with Brooks. Let's keep it going, Max. Ooh, okay. That's my opponent's best swing of the game so far. Come on, Max. You got that dog in you or what? Let's go. Trout's not making this catch. Ah, there goes the shutout. Okay, back on track. Hey, if he's late on a slider, this is a risky pitch, but I'm going to try it. Just a fastball. He hit it hard, but we got a guy there. Thanks. I guess. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I missed it with the PCI. Not even close. Come on, we've got to get some more runs off Kerry Wood. He's hittable. I was so early there. Wow. I mean... That's that's middle PCI. I, okay, all right. A few tough outs so far against Kerry Wood with the double play from Delgado and then that really hard hit ground out. But I'm going to go ahead and take out Max Scherzer. He did his job, man. I did not need length out of him. 
He gave me three innings and he's exiting the game with a lead. For an 88 overall breakout card in almost October, I'm happy with that performance. Going sinker in on Harper. Strikeout, beautiful pitch. Two quick outs. 2-2, two, two. I'm gonna try this pitch. This one's tough to lay off. Oh my God, filthy. 3-2 Trout, let's go. Oh, come on, dude. Why am I letting him get away with that? Just underneath it, man. Ball four. That's a great at bat from Delgado. Come on, Brooks. No, dude. How am I late there? Oh, my God. I cannot time up that fastball anymore. Hank Aaron, that's the swing I needed on the fastball. Take that weapon away from him. Come on, we got to get runs. Don't be an out. Come on, man. Ooh. Oh, that... Good time to throw the cutter. I was sitting dead red all the way. And then I don't get the check swing. Dude, this guy is pitching so much tougher with Kerry Wood than he was in the first inning. I don't know what changed. High slider. Good pitch. <laughs> Here we go. Two easy outs for Brad Hand in the sixth. Hey, six innings. We still have a lead, even though I'm not hitting very well. Max Scherzer and Brad Hand have been holding it down. Got to go to a new arm, though. Brad Hand did a phenomenal job out of the pen. It's time for Alvarado to do his. One pitch, one out. Jammed him. Come on. Ooh, this might be where he takes out another lefty. Yep. 96 in bottom seven pitch count is just not a factor for Kerry wood i just got to try to put good swings up up the middle come on come on let's go we've got to find a way we've got to manufacture a run we got to do it that sucks dude again i just can't figure out that fastball Ooh. yeah i I'm so lost against Kerry Wood right now. I need the bullpen to hold it down because quite frankly, I'm not gonna score off Kerry Wood. I just don't have any confidence against him. My opponent is not gonna take him out, especially with how the you know second half of this game has gone, really with how the game has gone since the second inning. So I really need the bullpen to keep doing their thing. Six more outs, come on. Nasty, good sinker. Oh, man. I'm not going to, but it would be real nice if I could get some insurance. Ooh. No, bro. Of course he goes to the cutter there. Late. <laughs> oh, my God. Whatever. Please win this game in the ninth. Don't know how that pitch works, but I'll take it. 3-2 uh, on Ellie. I hate this so much. Oh, he swung at ball four. Let's go. Okay, I I may have to go to Warren Spawn right here. Hold on. My opponent has Mike Trout and Jorge Soler remaining on the bench. Because if I go to a lefty, he goes to one of those guys. If I stay with the righty, I have to face Bryce Harper. I hate all of these matchups, dude. It's three, two. I am going out of the zone. I'm not giving him a strike. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, that was still a strike. Hank Aaron, are you going to make the play? How did I win that game? Dude, if you take away the first two at-bats of mine, that's one of the worst hitting performances I've had all year, and I still won the game. What? I understand that Ken Griffey Jr. got player of the game because he provided the only two runs, but the player of the game to me, realistically, is the whole pitching staff. The fact that I only allowed one run with this staff is wild. I started breakout Max Scherzer. That is a ludicrous win for me.